Hey everyone, welcome back to Whole Health. Today's topic is a fascinating one and one that often sparks curiosity, myths, and even heated debate. Can men actually determine the sex of a baby? This question is more than just biology. It's about genetics, timing, lifestyle, and in some cases, even old cultural beliefs. So if you're someone who has ever wondered whether you can choose to have a boy or a girl, or want to understand how this works on a biological level, stick around. This video is for educational purposes only and is not substitute for professional medical advice. The Basic Science of Sex Determination To start, let's get down to the biological facts. Every human being has 46 chromosomes, arranged in 23 pairs. One of these pairs determines biological sex. This pair is known as the sex chromosomes, and here's how it works. Women have two X chromosomes, XX. Men have one X and one Y chromosome, XY. When a woman releases an egg during ovulation, the egg always carries one X chromosome. On the other side, the man's sperm can carry either an X or a Y chromosome. So ultimately, it's the sperm, and by extension, the man, that determines the sex of the baby. If the sperm that fertilizes the egg carries an X chromosome, the baby will be female, XX. If it carries a Y chromosome, the baby will be male, XY. This is a genetic fact, so yes, scientifically speaking, men to determine the biological sex of a child. Can you influence which sperm wins? Now that we've established men determine the sex of the child, let's dive deeper. Here's where things get interesting. Can men do anything to increase the odds of having a boy or a girl? The answer is maybe, but it's not guaranteed. Researchers and fertility experts have explored differences between X-bearing and Y-bearing sperm. And here's what they've found. Y-bearing sperm for boys are faster but more fragile. They swim faster but die sooner. X-bearing sperm for girls are slower but more resilient surviving longer in the female reproductive tract. This has led to several natural methods, none 100% proven, but still interesting to explore. The Shettles Method One of the most well-known theories is the Shettles Method, developed in the 1960s by Dr. Landrum Shettles. He believed that by timing intercourse and around ovulation, couples could increase their chances of conceiving a boy or a girl. Here's how it works. To conceive a boy, Y sperm, have intercourse as close to ovulation as possible because Y sperm are fast. They are more likely to reach and fertilize the egg quickly, but they don't live long, so timing is everything. To conceive a girl, X sperm, have intercourse a few days before ovulation. The Y sperm will die off before the egg is released, while the slower, long living X sperm will still be around. Again, while this method has been widely discussed and even practiced, the scientific support is mixed. Some studies have shown minor success rates, while others found no difference. The method is not foolproof, but it's low risk and based on some basic sperm biology. Another question people ask, can a man's health or lifestyle influence which type of sperm he produces more of? There's no strong evidence to suggest that men can produce more Y or X sperm by lifestyle alone. However, sperm quality in general, motility, count, and health can be influenced by lifestyle and that might indirectly affect outcomes. Here's what we do know. Heat exposure, like frequent hot tubs or laptops on lap, can reduce sperm count overall. Smoking, alcohol, and drug use can impair sperm motility and health. Obesity, poor diet, and lack of exercise are also linked to reduce fertility. High stress levels can impact hormone balance and testosterone levels, which affect sperm production. So, while none of this directly controls the sex of the child, having healthy, strong sperm may give either type X or Y a better chance of successful fertilization. Another interesting theory comes from diet and body pH. Some researchers believe that pH balance in the cervical mucus may favor one type of sperm over the other. The theory goes, an alkaline environment, less acidic, may favor Y sperm, boys. 
an acidic environment may favor X sperm growth. As a result, some suggest dietary changes to influence cervical pH. To try for a boy, men and women are advised to eat more red meats, salty foods, bananas, and other potassium-rich foods. To try for a girl, diets might focus on dairy, leafy greens, magnesium-rich foods like nuts and beans. Again, the science behind this is far more conclusive, but it's a low-risk and natural approach that some couples find worth exploring. Are there medical methods to choose a baby's sex? Yes, but with major caveats. In fertility clinics, there are techniques that can almost guarantee the sex of a baby, but they are invasive, expensive, and more controversial. The two main methods are 1. Sperm sorting, like microsort. This method separates X and Y sperm before fertilization. It's not 100% accurate and is not widely available for non-medical reasons. Number 2. Pre-implantation genetic testing, PGT, during IBF. Embryos created via IBF are genetically screened and only embryos of the desired sex are implanted. While effective, this is primarily used for medical reasons like avoiding sex-linked genetic diseases and not for personal preference in many countries. These methods involve serious ethical, financial, and medical considerations, and they are usually not recommended unless there is a compelling health reason. At the end of the day, the most important factor is healthy conception and a healthy baby. Yes, men determine the sex of a baby biologically, and yes, there are a few natural methods and they may slightly tip the odds, but none of these methods offer guarantees and obsessing over gender can take away from the beauty and miracle of creating life. Instead of stressing over the X or Y chromosome, focus on preparing your body for fertility, eating clean, moving daily, and getting rest, supporting your partner emotionally and physically, celebrating the process no matter the outcome. Thanks for watching today's video. If you've learned something new, give this video a like, subscribe to Cole Health, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our weekly wellness content. What are your thoughts on gender selection? Have you heard the shadows method or the other techniques? Drop a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay well, stay whole.